back to my channel. It's Marsha with Marsha's Mind. Hey, welcome if you're new. My name is Marsha and this is my channel, Marsha's Mind, where I talk about law of attraction, spirituality, and your spiritual path. So let's get cracking. If you're not new, welcome back, guys. Hey, guys, if you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification and thumbs up if you like these kind of things. I wanted to share something with you. I was reading in Gabrielle Bernstein's The Universe Has Your Back. Listen to this. Okay, if you're new on your spiritual path or just awakening, okay, it says, these are my glasses to see far away so I can read closer if I don't have my contacts in. The practice of being on a spiritual path isn't about being the best meditator or the kindest possible person or the most enlightened. The practice is about surrendering to love as often as possible. I'm going to read it again because it really stuck to me. The practice of being on a spiritual path isn't about being the best meditator or the kindest possible person or the most enlightened. The practice is about surrendering to love, surrendering to love as often as possible. And I was thinking this the other day and it goes to prove such a point and it's so true. Have you ever been on your spiritual path, guys, or really into law of attraction? You're kind of new at it, and you're like, oh, don't say that. You got to say this. And sometimes people catch you saying what you're not supposed to say, and they're like, that's that. You're not supposed to say that. Don't be such a hypocrite. So then sometimes they say, oh, you shouldn't be so grouchy. Shouldn't you be positive all the time? <sighs> you know, you hear that kind of stuff. And it's like, it's not a religion, guys. It's a, it's a journey to find your spiritual path and to get closer to who you really are. We are energy beings uh, from source in these physical bodies. We come from pure love, pure bliss. <sighs> okay, I had to do this video. I know I'm like all dressed down, but I wanted to do this video. So yesterday I was coming home for lunch. It was my new schedule where I come home for lunch. And all these obstacles were getting in the way. Red lights, uh, a cycler was um, in the way. And I thought, well, he's booking it. He's fine. He's doing good. But then he slowed down, so I had to pass him. I thought, you know what? No, there's a reason why he's in my path. There's a reason why I'm being delayed. And then I got a red light at the stoplight. I was going to go straight through, but it was red. So I decided to turn left because there's another way home, which is a good thing. Because when I turned that way, I saw all this traffic being diverted and they were passing me by. So if I would have went the other way, I would have hit a whole bunch of traffic or construction. So that was a sign. And why am I bringing this up? Because I showed love at the time when that cycler was there. I showed love at the time when the red light was there. I wasn't getting all pissed off. It reminds me of that picture. Uh, it's a cartoon picture and this guy is standing there and a couple rocks hit him in the head. And he's like, I thought you were protecting me, God. Jeez. And then it shows another picture underneath with Jesus going like this, and there's tons of boulders and rocks hitting him, and he's protecting the guy. And just a few little boulders went over. He's like, sorry. The universe has your back, guys. The universe has delays in your path for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Show love, come from a place of love. And it's a good thing I did because I didn't get mad. I got home just in time and I was routed. I swear you guys, I was totally routed by my angels the right way to go and the right way to go home. If I wouldn't have seen that, all these obstacles, I wouldn't went the wrong way with the construction. So I just wanted to say, if anyone says anything to you about, you're not spiritual, you're you're grouchy or you're having a bad day, you shouldn't have a bad day, you shouldn't be depressed, you shouldn't be unhappy, you shouldn't say a bad word, or just whatever. Just remember it's not being the best possible nicest person, it's not about being the most enlightened or best meditator, it's about choosing love at the most possible time, or it's about, about surrendering to love as often as possible. And that takes a lot of strength and a lot of love and to know who you really are. And that's a really good start on your spiritual journey. So I just wanted to share that with you. This is a really good book. I'm rereading it because I blew through it the first time. And now I'm ready to pick it up again. I was drawn to it and there's a reason for that. So The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. Check it out guys. So I hope you have a good day. Namaste.
Hey guys, if you like these kind of videos, please check out my other videos I've made over here. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.